It is spring. And wow, we are getting out adventuring. The birds gathering a little sap this morning. And then we're heading out for an adventure and we would like to invite you along. Hi friends, my name is Kenton Whitman and together with my family, we aim to share wilderness skills, mindfulness practices, wild edible plants, family adventures, and skills that break you free from the limits of civilized life. Join us by subscribing to our channel and joining our YouTube family. This is one of my favorite kind of adventures. We're up on an overlook and looking out across this landscape back here. This was last year and we saw this big valley. So we're trying to get to that valley. We really don't know where we're going, what we'll find, but we're just off on an adventure. <laughs> Midwest llama packing. Could you imagine me out here? I've seen people with their llamas with their packs on them. so cool. How cool would that be? Oh, it looks like we've got some, uh, what do you, what is this over here? Not Angelica. Cow parsnip. Cow parsnip. So we know where to come in the spring for our fritters. Cow parsnip, yep. And cattails. Oh, this is great. Good tinder material for us when we're teaching. Yeah. You guys know it's a great wild edible too. Woo! Woo! Oh, <laughs> Get some cattail uh, little baby corn on the cobs. Oh, you love those. I don't know what they're technically called. Yeah, I love those. You like this? Oh, it's so beautiful. Look around. You don't see a single house anywhere. ground is really wet. We just have pretty light footwear on, so maybe we should try to get up into those pines, huh, you guys? Oh, Sandhill cranes. cranes, you guys. Yeah, see how close we can get. Huh? It's like a Sasquatch sighting. Wow, those are huge birds. Isn't that sound marvelous? Something from another time. That close. No, Smell this is incredible. I it inside of you, like a dinosaur or something. Almost brings you back to those dinosaur times, doesn't yeah. it? The way they move. Swampy and then they're creeping Look at this, it's a dream. Yeah. Yeah. That is not oh. what it sounds like at all. <laughs> way, way prettier. Do yours. You do one. No, 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 no. I cannot do it. They do it in their throat and I can't do that. It's impossible. It's I thought you saw a snake. I was so excited. Oh, look. There's their tracks. Right Whoa. Here, guys. They're like giant chickens. <laughs> giant chickens. Those well, are some big things. Okay, here's our stream crossing. One of them. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay, so. Okay, hey, remember the water's flowing through there, though. Hey. Yeah. 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 That is the way. Ew, did you get all wet, though? I'm doing Liliana's way. Okay. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna go for it. Go for it. Did that work? Uh, vaguely. I'm wet. You got your feet wet? <laughs> what should I do? It works better than walking. This is what we're small. trying to cross. Sprint. When, That's your feet, when your foot lands, it will displace the water out. Right. Water out. Go, Mirabel, go. Well, yeah. did you get wet? A little bit, yeah. Well, you get less wet than if you. <laughs> Okay. Here we go. Run. Run. <laughs> I didn't get wet at all. I didn't make I a single splash. Well, my feet are wet. I didn't get very wet. I was running me just in such a month and it nearly sucked it off my foot. Whoa. Speaking of which, look at that track. 
I guess it's probably just a dog track. Too much in the mud? Yeah. Squished out, looking cat-like. You don't mind the no. wet feet? It's part of the adventure? Yes. Yep. <laughs> well, talking about wet feet, Liliana, what do we have next here? Well... <laughs> oh, no. oh boy. Hmm, a slightly bigger puddle to cross. Or is there a bridge anywhere? And don't we need to go up this though to get to our valley? I think that way. On the other side. Are we not going to take the trail anymore? Because the trail went to the... The trail goes to the right of it, of that little creek. Look, there's a possible crossing down there. Okay. Should we try that? Yeah. A log? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, I would love to do that. Actually, I do not see how we can cross. I've never crossed the stream this deep down horseback. I think that would be wickedly awesome. Oh yeah. Who's that? Oh my gosh, you practically swim with your horse. That's pretty deep. Alright, guys. It might be higher than it usually is. How are we going to cross that tiny log? We're going to go across here and we're going to bring a bigger log and make more of a bridge there. What do you say? Sounds okay. good. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You guys know what all that debris means? Um, it means this floods. Sure, yeah. <laughs> That's a dad for you. Oh my gosh, be careful! If you fall in, that might be the end of our adventure. End of your adventure. Dad, can I go across right there? <laughs> I am not crossing. Dad's gonna get wet. Dad's gonna get wet. Maybe not. <laughs> that is literally the excited thing I've ever seen in my whole entire life. I think one of the Don't girls across, will have to take your pack or you'll be too heavy. Why are you coming back across? All right, let's try will it. Will I be able to cross that without breaking through? Yeah. Okay. Oh my gosh, we literally just started our adventure and I feel like we're in a movie. Not every day does somebody throw across a log that looks like it's going to break under their weight and then walk across it. Oh my gosh, and I actually held that. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? It held me, I'm the heaviest, so... It's like, so breaking it or something. No. Or is it sliding it down? Are you sure? Okay, here we go. Dad, you should have crossed and then helped us get it down. Oh, you ready? I think you'll be okay on that side. Move and steady. You ready? One scared spot. <laughs>
Nice. All right, there we are. <laughs> about like this something, there's nothing over here. Stand for us. Awesome Liliana. Okay. Oh, are you sure? <laughs> it helped me. And what about this one? Um, most of your weight on the bottom, but displace a little weight on top. You got this girl. It's not. Nice. I it feels so can I give one of you girls my pack? Okay. Don't don't yeah, there you go. Okay. Don't let anything fall out of your mouth. This is the part I don't like. Well, you're gonna live. It's okay. You got it. You got it. Oh my god. <laughs> it's so narrow right there. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty thin over there. 20 pounds. Yeah. Oh, so we'll see if it holds me still, huh? <laughs> the guy who breaks the rice doing dangerous river crossings with a 20 pound backpack. Can he do it? That's just mud falling, no need to worry. And <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> Woo Ooh. Let's go check out those cliffs. If we can get up into those pines, you guys, yeah. it'll I be will, drier. I'm not going to climb those cliffs. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, I think if we get up on this little escarpment, we can head up there. But we've got to check out this little cave back here, huh? This one. <laughs> oh, that's no cave. It's not a cave. Yeah. The cave. Wow. Let's go up here. We can get up onto the top there. Okay. Want to have a little treat? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Nice overlook. It is, isn't it? We've got sap in that bottle that Liliana has. And popcorn. We're on our no sugar thing, so this is all... No sugar. All the bell peppers are pretty sweet. But they are pretty sweet. We have to have a, a vegetable in there somewhere. Some yeah. specialty cheeses, some mixed nuts. We've got Cheese kale dip. chips. We made those last night. Those are so good. Yeah. I got to use my fingers because... Dad has several knives, but they're all too big to use for spreading this. <laughs> Typical dad, right? Exactly. <laughs> well, my sitar is the smallest one I've got, and who shows me a knife this <laughs> Guess who I just saw? What? Who? <sighs> Rose breasted nuthatch. <gasps> I thought I saw oh. a bird flying. In our experience with making friends with birds, chickadees are super, super friendly. If you put out your hand with some seed, They'll come pretty quickly, but nobody's ever beat the rose-breasted nuthatch. They are so friendly, so fearless, and they just come up and check you out. Really cool to see them in this woods. I have to admit that sometimes I've missed the North Woods and just the vast forest that went on and on and on up there. But I am learning over time that this uh, reserve that we're close to it's super vast too, and it's so diverse compared to up there. I mean, we were just down there in the in the rivers, and then we've got up here the the hemlock and the forest going, and 
there's the cattail swamp, there's cliffs, there's little nooks and caves. It's an obviously hugely rolling terrain. It was rolly up north, but not as dramatic as this. You walk along and, and you just come to these cliffs that drop off. This is common. You know, there's just valley after valley cutting down through these hills. And every valley has its own adventures, its own surprises, its own mysteries. Yeah, this whole time. Wow. You know this plant? You don't? Yeah. This is a special one. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, I love it. It's so silky. What is it? I believe this is actually an orchid. What? Yeah. It's called rattlesnake plantain. Oh. It's not a plantain like the ones we eat. Pretty leaves, huh? Oh, it's gorgeous, really. I've seen a lot of these mushrooms. Yeah, this is really decayed, obviously. But I think this is a Lactarius, the pepper cap. If I'm recognizing it from the way it used to look up north when it was at this stage. And that could mean lobsters, because that transforms into lobster mushrooms. Yeah, you're more loaded than I am, but I am better <laughs> Oh yeah, look at this. Somebody's favorite little munching place, huh? Did you find, oh, a super flat rock. Interesting. Very sick. Your leg is. Oh, you're already getting sliced and diced. Part of an adventure, right? Yeah. Very sick. That's the sort of we're going. Okay. So, see if you can see over here another little Sasquatch picture. Can you see him? Should we go meet him? How are you? <laughs> Pretty cool. <laughs> So our little friend led us to, I mean, check out this drop. There's kind of a cliff drop and another one. So we're going to circle around down here and see what we found. Oh, look at, there's a, oh, that's interesting. So hunters use these, but sometimes people mark areas. So should we follow them? See the next one? Oh yeah, it'll be okay. So they can get in the early morning to their spot. They just shine a light. And it will look. Well, also sometimes it leads to what? Sometimes people put them to lead them to special places. This could be it right here. <laughs> Could be. Look at the ice. Yeah. Ah. It's a special find. <laughs> Liliana, you'll be excited to see this. Berries. <laughs> twin. I wish it were winter green. Twin, twin berries are our same thing, right? Yes. I think twin berries is just my name for it. Twin berries. <laughs> yeah. Well, it makes sense. So I feel like each, there's just one after another of these valleys, and each one is going to have its own unique look and feel. I love this. Should we just see what's over the next one? Wow, look at that. 
Liliana, you've gone four minutes and 18 seconds without food. It is not. <laughs> but it's probably only 14 minutes. I've climbed up that. You're growing. Wait in. Seaweed chips. You girls are growing so fast and eating so much right now. It's like traveling with hobbits. <laughs> Time for 11 Z's and maybe quarter after 11 Z's and half after 11 Z's. <laughs> so if you guys are all woods travelers or if you've been to Rewild U and learned some woods navigation, what Mirabelle is seeing up here is as you look through, instead of just seeing trees, you see a lack of trees beyond there. So that can mean a lake, that can mean an open field. In this case, I'm guessing what it means, Mirabelle, is this is a ridge. So we're just seeing over the edge of that ridge. I was hoping for something pretty like a big open field. Okay, we can continue on up the valley. Awesome. We continue along here. Or we can just kind of edge towards home. Okay, because I you're seeing the same crossing yeah. I'm seeing down there. I see two of them. So much way. nicer crossing, you guys. Oh, wait, yeah. wait, wait though. If we cross, it's swamp all along there. So are we gonna cross and go back along the river where it's at least not gonna be so muddy? Uh, I don't know. Or are we gonna just try to go through the swamp? What do you guys think? I think I'm walking through a swamp unless it's super muddy. <laughs> I vote for going to see what's over there. <laughs> yeah, me too. Yeah, me too. Then, then we'll keep going down uh, the ravine. Then. <laughs> <laughs> Don't these look like feathers or tracks? They're beautiful. They really are, aren't they? Can you see teeth marks? Where somebody pulled them off or do they just rip them off with their hands to get at the seeds? Okay, seed. what'd you find? Squirrels are just too smart to miss a seed. <laughs> Must have been a very clumsy squirrel. <laughs> Maybe it's not a good seed. I've never seen a yellow birch with so much fringe. <laughs> oh, that's like incredible. Hair. Wow. <laughs> Unreal. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Look at that tree. Yeah, isn't it interesting that in certain areas I feel like yeah. you'll see trees doing things like this really close to each other as if there's something in the atmosphere, in the energy or magic of a place. Lost the girls and found a huge valley. Some major ice formations up there too. Beautiful birches. Found the girls. And it looks like an ice cave down there. That's what they call it when you can slip behind the ice. It's gonna be hard to see from here, but maybe we go take a look. Maybe. Wow, this is super cool up here. Huge oaks. Not a field or a lake, but I love it. An old ladder up here? You see that? Oh, up here. Oh, it's a shelter. Somebody made a little debris hut, huh? Ready? Here I go. At least started one. <laughs> Your grace surpasses all understanding, Elvin One. You. <laughs> so where's this cave? Okay, the thing we found is right over the edge over here. But do we want to see what's up there before we come down? Get a little vista? Well, we've come this far. 
Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's get a little vista. Garlic mustard. Okay. Doubtless some people are wondering about the sword. And this is a gift from a very good friend of mine who we both share a passion for knives and things like that. And he had heard that I always have wanted a short sword to carry with me in the woods. I am not doing this to protect against anything. You know, in all my time in the woods, the most dangerous things I've ever met are domestic dogs. And I've always been able to deal with that without any weaponage. So this is more about something you'd wear, almost like a costume, clothing. Something that I train with and I practice with for fitness and for fun. And maybe for that just in case, whatever, dragons. <laughs> but for me, it's about a spirit that I get filled up with when I can carry something like this. So I'm gonna show this to you guys because it's really a, a cool blade. This is a Nepalese maker and it's just spring steel and very sharp and just super cool. <laughs> Really makes me feel like I'm I'm an adventurer. Same way that Mirabelle, you're filming, mm -hmm. going over that that log just yeah. kind of fills you up. Yeah. So so that's it. And thought you might want to see it. Liliana, you're eating a banana. We're not supposed to right now. Oh, this is a woods banana. I see. A little thinner than the ones in the tropics, yeah. but just as delicious, right? <laughs> okay, should we go down to this super cool thing that we found? Yeah. All right. Getting down there may be a challenge. Oh. Cool, huh? Why is it brown where it's Oh, probably just tannins and things in the water. Oh, yeah, a lot of it would have come when it was still ice over everything. Mm. So it would have been water running over ice. Mm. Now the water is running the right through the ground. It. Yeah. And that thing, that crack, looks like a dragon. <laughs> Think we can get down here? Yeah. Right there maybe, huh? Oh, it's nice and cool, isn't it? This is a mushroom I've never seen before. Any mushroom experts? It's a polypore. It looks like it has a central stalk. Very interesting. Here's another one of these. Really neat. <laughs> what happened here? No, there's birch trees up on top, but what's going on with this? It got frozen into the ground. Yeah, it actually fell and speared into the ground. See that? <laughs> Isn't that incredible? This is the second time in about a month that I've seen this happening on the ground. And 
What do you think, Liliana? What's going on here? <laughs> so over here we can see a little bit more of where the tree came off from there and as it came down and hit these branches just kind of exploded outward all over the place and create this all over the ground the last time I saw it the body of the tree was actually hung up in a tree so you didn't see anything except for the branches all over the ground. Pretty neat, huh? Yeah. Do you imagine seeing that happen? I hear our family over there. Let's go find them. Why? We love these lover trees. Well, it's one tree, actually. One tree. But it just wrapped itself around. That is kind of two. Yeah, like two branches. A couple choices here. We've got a beaver dam and then some logs going across. We'll see what the family decides. Beaver dam for you? <laughs> I'm tired of going across logs. <laughs> <laughs> Why do beavers this? Well, good question. Good question indeed. Oh, you guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> that they're right in the danger zone? Yeah. Look at this. That's really neat. Look at this. That's so cool. They did a cut here oh, look and it, here. Look it. One right there. Oh yeah. We could take that one home. <laughs> it's kind of a neat artifact. This is so cool. Oh cool. yeah, look at that. Yeah. These are golden birch. It's kind of a little hard to see them coming down because these are these trees will get to be 400 years old. These golden birch, unlike the paper birch, these are a climax forest tree and very long lived. What? It's a pretty neat carving, That's isn't it? Yeah, I know. We, we shouldn't stand right there. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we have to check oh. this out over here. Dad, look at this. Take this. Can you put it in your backpack? Uh, I will carry it. Thank you. So to answer your question, the beavers favor deeper water as their habitat, where they can be safe underwater and maneuver. And, wow. and so they essentially just create a deeper water area. So it's such a shame they didn't use it though. Why, why did they start chilling here? Well, they have to keep chewing their whole lives to keep their teeth, also, and they eat. So maybe this was just one for chewing. Yeah, this one was too tasty to use. <laughs> wow, what if we could carve wood with our teeth like that, you guys? Oh, look it! It's a bite out of it up here! Look at that! It took a bite out of it! <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh my! Wow! That's oh, there's so more bites! Cute. Wow. A bunch on the other side. It looks like a bunch of... I bet fairies like this that they can just carve in and carve out and it's a home. With a little house. Wow. Tall houses, small houses. So we're going to try crossing the beaver dam. Crossing the beaver dam, I guess. I bet those are beaver tracks right down there, you guys. Where? See in the mud? Oh, I see it. It is a shelf of ice and mud. Wow. Hmm. Yeah, the embankment's cracking apart too. Yeah, that tree's ready to go almost. I wish I was. I wish I was a beaver. Under, it's undercutting the bank now. Yeah. And that tree's gonna fall soon, and then it'd be easy to cross, wouldn't it? Yeah. There's our crossing. How's it look? Good. Good. Okay. Oh, I see a little tangled. Okay. Yeah. It's good. Oh, look at that. Oh, nice yeah. spotting. Yeah, it's so cute. Wow. I need a lesson. It's spider web or? I think so. Okay. Okay. Woo, it's uh, 
Muddy? It's muddy, yeah. Nice. Oh, <laughs> you okay? <All> that mud. <laughs> the bottom of the shoes yeah. makes things a little more challenging. Thanks for coming along, friends.